Well, good morning. We're back in Eternum, and we are going to head out to Armine Temple to see if locating the Taskmaster's heart is something we can do. And while we're out and about, we also need to grab some fibers for linen. We need to hunt some sheep. And we also need to uh, search the Armine Temple for some fasteners. As well as gathering a bunch of green wood. So, we have a whole bunch of stuff to do. And... If we can't do one thing, well, we definitely have several other things that we need to accomplish. Oh, maybe help if I do that. There. Turkey. It's looks for dinner. That's a mature tree. I kind of figured that would be. Turkey's everywhere here. Okay. Well, this has got to be a young tree. I got us a couple of green wood. So, we're headed down this way. Pretty sure. Wait, no. No, that way leads us down to the beach and the starter area. Wow. I actually got that turkey from around that tree. So, we're headed that way. So it says, uh, really isn't that far away. What oh, is that, like five turkeys now? Too bad there weren't any culling turkey quest. I'd certainly be well on my way to getting it finished. Might as well. Never know when you need to set up a camp. I still have to figure out uh, how to level up my campsite again. I guess at some point I should probably look that up. And I guess when we're done with all this, we'll check and see if they've opened up the trade house again. So here they did do a, a hot pat, hot patch yesterday. Well, they took the servers down for it. I guess a hot patch is while they, while the servers are still alive. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But yeah, I do believe that they patched the server and reopened the trade house again. Got rid of a lot of duplications. You know what? We're not going to taste any more turkeys. We have enough for now. So hopefully that is one less exploit for the game. And hopefully they didn't open up three more in the process. I really love the game. The game's a lot of fun. That doesn't mean I'm not going to point out when it's screwed up. And there's definitely been enough exploits and bugs 
to make me go, huh? So I guess we're going in here. Yep. This is where we need to be. We'll switch. We need to look for fasteners, which will probably be in chests. And we need to find something that we're not sure we're going to be able to find, but we're going to try. Regenerative potion. Oh, we we'll probably should eat too. It's always helpful. Got some blueberries here. I'll take those. Yes, please. So we have defeated several guardians so far. Oops, I think I just accidentally killed something. What did I accidentally kill? I don't see it. Unless I was attacking whatever's up here. Trying to, probably. No, I did kill something. I see it now. Oh, no. Did I kill the bunny? I did. Sorry, bunny. Didn't mean to kill you. All right, so here's a chest. Is this where we need... Yep, our fasteners are coming from that. Okay. We have a page here. We can get rid of this guy first. All right, what do we have here? Azure Flames. Page is burned, but it looks like it was written on after it was burnt, not before. My hands shake as I write this. I was a fool. First the spire, the great light. The light grew above me like the dawn of a second day, and my heart leapt with hope. And again, when I saw the torches along the main road blossom into blue flames, it was as if I'd awoken the isle itself. Then, then a terrible silence from the spire, and the light streaming from it, froze in the air, as if paralyzed by touching the earth. I confess, I was consumed by a growing dread, and I fled along the road, the blue flames leaping, leading my steps, as it turned out here to the temple ruins from before. The temple was no sanctuary. Had the azure blue flames surrounded me here, whatever occurred at the spire, it had touched here as well, awakening something terrible. I saw the same blue flyer, fire that it lit the lanterns on the road, now burn within the chest of the skeletal figures I had taken for dead. They were not dead, I see now, merely sleeping. Now they walked, blades drawn, circling the temple with dark intent. What have I awoken? May the powers of Eternum have mercy upon my soul. Grenville. So 
So apparently he was playing with things he had no knowledge of. Or maybe his was just the last in a long line of catalysts that caused this. Either way, he is definitely blaming himself for this. I believe this, yeah, this is where we fight the guy and forge our Azoth staff, or forge the top of our Azoth staff. Come on. Oh, we might as well kill you again. There is a chest in here. All right, Ezra, go back to sleep. Thank you. I thought there was a chest in here. And we've read the note. Because that was part of that. Oh, I knew there was a chest in here somewhere. Oh, how are we getting to this? There we go. All right, so we have two of our fasteners. Okay, nothing on there. Anything up here? Not that I can see. Oh, no. It's right in front of the guy sleeping on the job. Okay, so need two more of those. Now, I think I did get this for in Quest at one point, but I never was able to figure out where this Cassara, the Taskmaster, is. And unlike in Lotro, and no matter how much lower the level the mobs are, you still end up having to fight them. Uh, yes, I know. You have reached Azov Cap. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, good. I managed to kill him without killing any bunnies. Ooh, what's this? This is pretty. Life jewel. Okay. I'm assuming I'm going to get some life motes out of you. 
and I did. I got a gleaming lodestone and 19 life modes. So whatever gleaming lodestones are, I got one. You have a chest over here? Doesn't look like it, but we'll kill you anyway. Which way are we going? And, of course, go to sleep. I would say stay asleep, but y'all don't know how to do that. So this doesn't go in anywhere. Okay, go up. Honey, what are you doing up here? It's not safe. I guess it's safer for you than me. Alright, what are y'all? Just sentries. Okay. I'm going to... Ancient gauntlets. All right, so y'all are standing sentry duty here. What are you guarding? Guess we better find out. Are you Alistar? No, you're not the person, you're not the one I'm looking for. You're guarding something, though. You're guarding some sort of portal. I remember Alistar. He was a hard one to fight. And that was even over level. Let's see if we can't find anything else here. I'm going to have to look this one up. Because I don't know where this Casera is. Thing. I need this test, so y'all just need to get out of the way. Oh, looks like I did complete that one already. Okay. Excuse me. Rude. All right. Oop. I guess we're coming down here. 
I wonder if anybody has already put out some sort of a guide for this. There. All right. Probably not the safest place in the world to pause. Yeah. That's not the safest place in the world to pause. Although it would be safer than the inside the temple. At least it would take the mob a little bit longer to kill me. Looks like somebody's fighting that portal over there. Nice. Alright, so we're going to pause here for just a minute. Okay, we're back. So the Taskmaster is in this area here. And yes, I did just look up a quick video on how to do this. And Taskmaster is going to be fun. He is a spear wielder with a lot of armor. Excuse me, get out of my way again. Thank you. So he is over in this direction. Oh, we're going the wrong way. So we want to go this way. I think that's it. That's our spot right there. There's our taskmaster. We got our Taskmaster's heart. And what do we have in here? Anything good? Or just some more junk? Just some more junk. Yay! Okay. I think there was a page back there too, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. We came what we, we got here, what we came for. Yeah, 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 kitty, you can chase me. Let's see.
Guess I didn't feel like chasing me too far. Good. So we need to go back and talk to Lakina again. And she is, she's the one that's way up there. All right. You're really not that far away. Although I have to wonder what she wants with this past master heart. And she's sitting up here all alone. This way. Oh, cranberries. I'll take those. How are we doing for gold? We are doing pretty good. Let's see. She is way up there. I don't think we can go up this way to get to her. Uh, We're going to look, folks, when we jump down, we end up right near the settlement. Nope. There's a few things that even we can't do. Jump like Superman is one of them. All right, so. This way. We're starting to remember how to get up here. Impressive view. A little foggy in the distance. I think they do that on purpose in games. Because I guess if you obscure the draw distance a little, it actually uh, decreases the GPU needed to draw it. I 
least that's what I imagine. Because if you look at it, it's not crisp and clear. It's kind of cloudy and soft. And I would think a GPU would have maybe an easier time doing that. All right, so, Lakina, I have what you asked for. Amazing. Let me see what you've got. It's very hard for this being clearly not biological, but is he once human? Oh, this is the perfect addition to my collection. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Hell no, I'm almost starting to think of you as an old friend. Don't go disappearing on me now. Just the mourning the loss of my best friend and former colleague. Who are you talking about? Simon. Simon Gray, one of the most brilliant researchers on the Terra. He disappeared some time ago on the Amarin excavation. It's sad for many reasons, especially for the loss of his equipment. His equipment? Yes. Simon carried the legendary Antiquarian's eyepiece. Allowing the wearer to inspect the smallest of details. In fact, if you were to find such a thing in the excavation, I'd reward you handsomely for it. So, again, we have ended up with another quest that goes into Armine Excavation. Which, of course, we can't do without a group, so... That gives us how many one two three and if you count Barkimedes which we didn't take four quests that go into our mine okay but we have gotten her main stuff done. She's got her heart that she wanted. She seems pretty happy with that. We even got one of our three task boards items done. So yay for that. And we are where we are in Winsward, I believe. Yeah, because this is first light. When, yep. So we have a couple of task board items we need to complete, including linen, green wood, sheep. Sorry, doggy. Get out of my way. Well. Easy enough. Most of this is just gathering. Well, except for the sheep, which I don't think there are too many sheep in the immediate area. Kind of a yellow pinkish cast on this. Very interesting. Okay. I know we're such a tourist. We'll get this. Let's see thing. I need you to get out of my way. Thank you. I'll take your hides while you're at it. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, 
this is whatever it is it's already been harvested We need lots of wood, lots and lots of wood. So I guess while we gather this wood, we can talk a little bit about some ideas for the channel. Now, obviously my two favorite games are currently Lord of the Rings Online which, let's be honest, it is always one of my favorite games. And New World. But that doesn't mean I don't have a whole lot of other games that I have either collected for free through GOG giveaways or through Humble Bundles or for free or incredibly cheap on Steam when they go on sale. Because I have a tendency to wait for sales or giveaways before I get stuff. And I'm thinking of doing a short series of some of the other games that I enjoy playing. Most of them are, are not along this vein. They're more puzzle type or just fun, relaxing little more like toys than actual games. Things like um, Bunny Park, which is absolutely adorable. And you're just, you're just cleaning up and decorating a park for cute little bunny rabbit. And it's got a very hand-drawn, simple, uh, simple illustration style that I like and well it's fun for, to pass a relaxing hour here and there. I also have other things that I've been wanting to try. Things like Skyrim. I know I'm way way late to that party huh? That game's been out for ages. But I have been told multiple times I should try playing the game that it's still pretty good and that I would probably like it and I have tried getting into it once or twice it seems okay of course I'm not sure about the anniversary edition because I hear a lot of people are complaining that it introduced more bugs than it fixed and in fact, in, some people have said it didn't fix any bugs, but it broke a lot of mods that people really enjoyed and added mods that are kind of half-baked and nobody really asked for. That's, that's what I get from reading the forums at any rate. But there's also a downgrader that people can use to downgrade the game back to special edition so we'll see i may just go ahead and try doing that route and reinstall skyrim and then use the downloader patch And I also guess that you don't get everything from this anniversary update. That the actual anniversary edition is something you have to pay another 20 bucks for. In which you get a whole bunch more mods nobody asked for. And really, I don't know. It doesn't I don't know if they know what they were actually doing. I'll pop down one more tree because, well, always need to make sure I got a little bit of wood on me in case I need to build a tent. 
All right, so that's one. So I have two task bar to complete. And let's go over this way and see if I can't find the hemp that's usually hanging around in this general area. So I can make the linen for, at least I can do three out of four tasks, right? So, yeah, Skyrim's another one. Tavern Master has finally been released. And, of course, I got myself a copy of it. Uh, somebody's gotten this fiber, it looks like. So, I have that. And the great thing is that it recognized that I had a save file in the prologue and ported it over into the full version. So, yay for that. I don't have to start from the bottom up if I don't want to. I can pick up from where I left off. So, definitely going to be doing a couple of videos on that. I'm thinking maybe, maybe once a week we'll do a, a short video just to see, you know, what's new, what we're doing, that type of thing. So there's that. We have Scab uh, Skyrim and we have Tavern Master, which I don't know where I'd fit the Skyrim in. I imagine it's not going to be a regular thing either. And then there's a whole bunch of other games. I have simulation games. I have RPGs. I have things like No Place Like Home, which is a cute, really cute game that takes place in a world where the planet has pretty much been trashed and man has left for other frontiers. And you're one of the few people that has stuck around and is attempting to clean up and rebuild. Well, make yourself a little home in what's left. And I know, as depressing as that sounds, it's actually a really cute little game. So we might do a little gameplay of that one. But there are a whole bunch of little games I have on my computer. Well, not all of them on my computer. But that I own that I think would be really fun to take a look at. Let's see, do I have enough? Oh, I have more than enough to make 50. Okay. So that's definitely in the works for the future of the channel. We'll take a look at some of the little games I love to play the little casual games. We'll take a look at Skyrim and see if it's something I could get into for like a semi-regular game rotation. We'll take a look at Tavern Master again. And um We'll see what else comes up. Because like I said, I have plenty of games in, in my arsenal. And some of them are actually rather fun. Okay, so we can complete those. Alright, so that got us another point with Winsward. You can get that and that, which we don't have to do on screen. Wow. Pretty productive day. Winsward Cleaver. It's a hatchet. I wonder if I... Oh. I didn't want to take out the... 
need uh, need that for something else. Okay. There. So put this stuff away. And I do believe that's going to be it for today. Next time, I'll, I'll, I'll probably finish this task board stuff off screen. But next time, what are we going to do next? Oh, let's see. None of that stuff. We can go over to Monarch Bluff and talk to Urbanus. Finish that up and then see what other quests are available over there because it does seem there are some. We also have one left here in Windsward City. Hmm. Interesting. But we'll see about doing all of that next time. And until then, bye for now.